What's up with the Charlotte's big boss? Okay, a couple days ago, I had dropped a video for the top seven elixir fragrances that dropped. Okay, but this is an upgrade video. That video did so good, I'm about to tell y'all the top parfums. Okay, parfum is a concentration that's higher than older parfum. Parfums has about 20 to 25% fragrance oil inside that fragrance bottle so every time you see a parfum check to see if it's an older parfum and you will kind of see that the parfum has a higher price might be a little darker and richer lasts a little bit longer than the older parfum is always going to be more mature than the older parfum okay so that's a little history lesson a little trivia for guys that don't know what the hell this video is for and stuff like that also toilettes don't forget about that. I might make an all-time toilet video, too. I might make an all-time eau de parfum video. Y'all just let me know what y'all want, and I'm going to deliver what y'all want. Okay? Love y'all. Let's go ahead and get to this video. I'm a big tipper. Nobody gonna get rich quicker. From the land, ain't no city bigger. Foreign cars pulling in a villa. Who's smelling good? I'm that nigga. Okay, y'all, in 10th place, we have John Paul Gaultier's Lamar Le Parfum. Let me tell y'all, I think this fragrance is very, very overrated. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I know a lot of y'all think this vanilla club banger is great. And opinions, opinions. I don't wanna shoot down nobody's opinions, but in my book, I don't wear it that much. I don't grab it all the time. I just, I don't see the hype. Now, John Paul Gaultier's La Mel Elixir. I like that one. The gold bottle. That's where they did the right thing. But with this, I'm just looking at it like, yeah. Also, the original Lamar. Really don't ever wear that. That smells like baby wipes. I don't know. I don't really get down with that. So these two fragrances are something I really don't recommend all the time. But I already know a lot of y'all going to be in the comments. Hey, man, argue with me. Defend your favorite fragrance. Is this your favorite fragrance? You you let me know if I'm tripping. Am I tripping? All right, let me know. Let's get to ninth place. Okay, y'all, in ninth place, we have Dior Sauvage Parfum. Now, Dior Sauvage Parfum is a banger fragrance. It smells good. Also, you have to realize there's about 60 different parfum variants out there, and this is top 10. So for me to say Dior Sauvage Parfum is in ninth place of all time, that's really good, all right? It's dark, it's rich, it's still got that bergamot and that regular Dior Sauvage DNA. I like it, smells good, lasts a little longer than, no, can't say that. I think this in the Eau de Parfum has the same range, but I would just go say, if you like this fragrance, I'll just go get Bluey Chanel Parfum if you like this right here, because I think Blue the Chanel Parfum is better in my opinion, but this is a great blue scent. And if this is in your collection, you're still doing good though. You know what I'm saying? You're still getting compliments. People still love you for this. I'm not going to shame you if you got this in your collection. Let's get to the eighth place. Okay, y'all, in eighth place, we have Loam by YSL. This is a banger. I always kind of call this the Savage Killer, okay? Because I will pick this over the Eau de Parfum, Dior Sauvage, and I'll probably pick this over the Parfum as well. I don't know about the Toilette. The Toilette lasts a very long time, and that's the original Sauvage DNA. I really like this, but Loam smells good. It's very underrated. It's a blue scent. Really good for summertime. Really good for springtime. You can also pull it off in a little bit of the fall. Maybe not the winter. Only in the winter if you're at work. You know what I'm saying? You at work and you're going to be in the office all day. You can pull this off in the wintertime. Other than that, leave this at home. This is a great blue scent. It's citrusy. You know what I mean? Got them aromatic notes. It smells real good. It lasts a long time. I like it. And it's very underrated, like I said. So a lot of people are not going to have it. But you will if you go pick it. All right, y'all. In seventh place, we have this Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. Yes, Gray Vetiver is in second place. Not second, seventh place. I really like this fragrance. Uh, it got that lemon vetiver type smell. Kind of reminds me of Izzy Miyake Lotus Apron Home. Just think of this as um, a woody lemonade. Really great for the spring and summertime. It gets you a lot of compliments. 
girls really love that lemon smell, especially when it dries down to that little cedar, whatever wood they got going on at the base notes. This is a really good scent. Do not pass up on this. This is my favorite gray vetiver variant. They have the toilet. They got the older parfum. They have the parfum. I don't know if they're going to come out with a gray vetiver elixir one day. I don't know. But you know, all these companies do what they want to do. So they might drop an elixir one day. Who knows? But gray vetiver parfum, go pick it up. Beater or be square. All right. In sixth place, we bringing it back with another time for it. And it's time for it. Umbre leather. Now, note it. I like the original Umbre leather over the parfum, but that leather note, that leather couch biker jacket man masculine scent that this gives off, still love it. Now, this is more lighter, more floral, a little bit sweeter than an original, but it's still a great fragrance. Lasts a long time as well. The longevity, the, uh, uh, the projection, the sillage. Oh, man, it's great. You can't pass up on smelling like a man. So if you out there and people are always calling you sissy boy, get you some of this goddamn um, ombre leather. And they ain't going to be calling you sissy boy. They're going to be calling you Arnold Schwarzenegger. They might even call you Vin Diesel. They might even call you Big Boss. <laughs> you know what I mean? Go pick this up if we ain't got it already. I wouldn't blind by this, though. Get a sample, try it out, see if it fits your flow and your style before you commit to a $200 bottle. All right, y'all, in fifth place, we have this Blue de Chanel Parfum. It's me all day. <laughs> Blue de Chanel Parfum, great fragrance, okay? Very, very, very underrated. I think people kind of always focus on the Eau de Parfum a Blue de Chanel. Still don't understand why, but you know me, I'm a real masculine type of dude. Anything that's really rough and rugged and dark and rich and fee fi fo fum get out of my way, I'm a man. Whatever that can make me smell like that, I'm in there, okay? Yeah, give me a tire, give me some mud, put me in the construction yard. I want to flip bricks and move logs and cut down trees. That is how I feel when I put on this blue D snail. I feel like a lumberjack. It's woody, it's aromatic, okay? Women love it. You put this on right before bed, she gonna be like, I don't know what you got on, but boy, that's no good. Blue de Chanel. I'm still waiting for y'all to drop the elixir. Call me and give me a bottle before you give everybody else a bottle. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. All right, fourth place, we have East Saint Laurent. Wow. Light parfum. Love this fragrance. Um, I can honestly say, um, I had like 15 fragrances. This was like one of the first fragrances inside my whole collection. It, it So it, it kind of holds dear to my heart because, like I said, this was one of my first ones I picked up. I smelled all three of them. At that time, it was like three or four Y fragrances. I picked this over the Lay Parfum. I mean, I picked the Lay Parfum over the Oda Parfum, which the store lady I was at, I think I was at a lot of like dealers or something. She kept trying to get me to get the Oda Parfum. She kept trying to tell me that was better. But when I smelt this one, this was me all day. And like I said before, rugged, all right, big boss. I like the more richer scents. You got to smell expensive. Now, understand, this bottle right here with this size right here, the 3.4 fluid ounce, is going to run you $188 retail. So I would suggest going on eBay, picking you up, like a little used bottle. I don't care if they only sprayed it 10%. Just go ahead and grab it, dog. What you need a full bottle for? Okay, especially if you already got a lot of fragrance. You don't need a real full bottle of this. A full bottle of this is going to last you two, three years, especially if you got a collection. If you got a collection, it's really going to last you about like six, seven years, knowing me. All right, so I like this fragrance. Um, smells really good. Got that, that green apple, deep, rich green apple. Ooh, that smells so good. Go pick this up. It's in fourth place. In third place, I have this Versace Eros Parfum. Yes, Versace Eros Parfum is in third place. I love me some Eros Parfum, man. I just like that smell. I like that sweetness, that richness, that, oh, man, I, I don't know. All right, a lot of my fragrances that I made in my company is heavily inspired by the Versace Eros. It just smells so good. It's like sweet, light, aromatic, citrusy, 
it's so modern, you know what I mean? It's like, how could you not like Eros? It's just a banger, okay? It's one of them fragrances that, for sure, top 10. Top 10, for sure. I actually need to put it in my top 10 more often. It's like I keep not talking about it. And then once the video drop, I'll be like, damn, Versace Eros Parfum, I forgot, I forgot. But go get it though, smell real good. Just wear a condom, dog. They're gonna be on you, my boy. They might take it from you too. So you gotta, you know what I'm saying, go to the gym, get your boxing skills up, box these girls away, cause they gonna love you smell like this. They gonna love you when you smell like this. The teachers are gonna love you too. You know what I mean? I ain't, yeah, they gonna really love, yeah, just, just hear me, it's fire. And go to the club with it too, get some ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Second place. Second place. Can y'all guess? Out of all the parfums I talk about, which one could it be? No, not that one. It's second place. I didn't say first place. See, my long-term subscribers already know the first place. Ain't that right? <laughs> y'all act like y'all really know me. Y'all know me? Because I know y'all know me. But what's the second place? All right. Is it, how about this? How about this? Before I show y'all, just think about it. It's a gold bottle. A gold square bottle. Not that one, dude. No, not that one. That's first place. The other gold square bottle. This. Tom Ford Noir Extreme Parfum. I'm trying to tell you. How many times I got to talk about this fragrance? I'll talk about it, and then y'all go out there and don't pick it up. I'll talk about it, and then y'all say, why would I get that? When the, Bruh, listen to me. I don't know if y'all guys are just smelling the opening notes and getting turned off, but bruh, I don't lie. Every fragrance I have ever recommended y'all get compliments. You have to just wait for the dry down. It's gonna come off really strong. It's gonna come off like, man, it's gonna make me smell like a grandpa. No, it ain't. See, grandpa put this on, he even getting sugar mamas that day, okay? Granddad put this on, he go to the club. The girls that say, I don't mess with the old dudes. Well, you is today. Cause that's how good he gonna smell. And that's granddad. Granddad didn't have a chance to get the dudes in the first, I mean, get the girls in the first place. You a young man, you fly, you cool. You know what I'm saying? You got you a job, you got you some money, you looking good. You put some of this on? I'm high at my girl. I'm high at my grandma. I'm high at my mama. I'm high at my grandma's mama. Cause you might take her. And I don't need my subscribers being my, what, father-in-law? My granddad-in-law? Yeah, you got me messed up. That's how good this smell, okay? And I think y'all already know the first place. What is it? Paco Rabanne One Million Parfum. This my baby. This will always be my baby. First of all, when y'all was watching the video you had in your head, like Chris probably gonna talk about one million. Yes, I, yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I don't feel bad. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care how y'all look at me. I don't care. Matter of fact, I do care about this part. I don't like how Paco isn't hitting me up yet. Like I didn't sell y'all a hundred bottles of just this fragrance alone. I'm single-handedly putting Paco Rebond on the map. Every time I drop a video, they get they, they, like, y'all see me, y'all, like, come on now. They not, they not giving me no free bottles. Paco Rebond, one million golden ooh came out. I ain't get a bottle yet. It sold out. I ain't got nothing. All right? Who fought is that? Who I need to beat up? Somebody getting beat up. All right? But before I beat them up, I'm trying to tell y'all, this is fire, bro. Okay? Solar notes. That amber grease. That pine. You know what I mean? That floral note. This is so, so sexy. You're going to get you a lot of compliments. This is a compliment king. I understand a lot of y'all been saying y'all have performance issues. So let me just show y'all my batch code if I can see it on the bottle. I can't see the batch code on the bottle, but it says 10. All right. Whatever that means. On the bottom, it say 10. So look at your bottle. On the bottom of your bottle, if it don't say 10, then you ain't got Big Boss's batch code. But whatever batch code I got right here, this one, this mixture, this is in. They never gonna discontinue this, ever. I just know they not. I love this. Go pick it up. It's my favorite scent. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. 
I love y'all so much. Give me some more video ideas. Y'all know I didn't shot like 1,500 videos literally. Literally. 1,500 videos I shot and I edited. Okay, that's a lot. I need y'all to go in the comments. I've been doing this, what, for three years now? Y'all know me. Go in the comments and give me some video ideas. And go pick up the jock. I'm telling you about all these fragrances. The jock is a parfum. I've been selling a lot today. Okay, I just did like, what, seven shipments? Man, come on, man. Go pick up the jock, man. Go support the boss. Christopher Lee fragrances. Go smell good, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Also, wear a condom. Also, floss your teeth. Also, brush your tongue, dude. Clean under your fingernails. Wash your ass. And stop using toilet paper to wipe your ass. Get some uh, uh, wet wipes, okay? Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? Somebody threw some shit in your face. You gonna wipe it off with some tissue? No. Wet wipe. Water. Okay? I'm trying to tell y'all, man. I gotta do better. Drink a gallon of water a day. Alright? Don't do drugs. Except marijuana. <laughs> as a drug. As a drug, right? Whatever. Do all, do all of them. Don't do the marijuana. Don't do marijuana. I, I let that slide. But don't you be doing the hard ones. Don't be, you better not do that. Watching my channel up there <laughs> snoring stuff. Look, man, stay in school. You know what I'm saying? Listen to your mamas. Listen to your elders. You know what I mean? Don't be no brokey. Stop being lazy. Get off your ass. Okay? Go to the gym. Pay your bills on time. Especially when you build your credit. You need credit, dog. You want to buy a house? You don't want to be paying $1,500 a month? All right, we'll get you some good credit. So when you finance your house, you're not getting extreme APRs and interests. Okay? It's time for y'all to grow up, man. Inflation growing up. So make sure y'all got a little savings tucked away. At least $2,000. All right, put $2,000 away. Save it up. And you in there. I know these fragrances cost a lot. So... Maybe you don't want to commit to buying the full bottle retail. Go on these discounter websites, all right? I'm trying to tell you, go on these discounter websites. Also, y'all can go to eBay. Y'all can get these fragrances secondhand. You ain't got to keep buying these fragrances for full price. Who you trying to show out for? Don't nobody know how much you bought for that bottle. 